All right, so we're here uh, with, with Rem and uh, Julian Dolce, who's platform lead for QNX, working on the BlackBerry tablet. And uh, we have it in front of us, so we're just going to have a, a quick walkthrough and then uh, maybe ask some questions and go from there. Yeah, so uh, you can see here we have uh, you know all of our icons for all of our apps. Uh, here in the all category, you can kind of scroll through them. Uh, you can navigate to the different categories um, by you know just swiping uh, sideways um, or by tapping uh, the, the categories up at the top. Um, you can quickly bring up uh, the music app here. Uh, we can click on all songs and see all the songs that we have you know, synced in our device. Uh, we can start one up here. Uh, good old Canadian band. <laughs> and then uh, we can uh, minimize that by just swiping up from the bottom uh, of the bezel and it goes into a minimize mode. And we can uh, launch other applications while it's still running in the background. So if I wanted to launch the, the photo apps, maybe look at the photo app while, while I'm going here, um, you know, I can click on all my photos and browse through them. Uh, here, uh, you know, if we click on one, it'll, it'll bring it up. And we can slide, slide through them. You get the pinch to zoom Very cool. as well. Uh, we can minimize that, and so you can see we have uh, them both minimized now. We can so well, let's launch one more here. Launch the video app. You see we have a, a, a few videos here. As we launch them, you can see that you know we can navigate through them and see all of our running apps uh, really easily uh, without you know having to dig through uh, any sort of system settings or, or kind of task manager. Um, and then how do you exit an app? You just flick it up? Or? Yeah, so what you can do here is, uh, maybe we'll do this on the music one just to kind of quit it. You can either hit the, the X up at the top or you can um, you can actually swipe up on the window itself and it goes away. Um, and we can come back into here and we can you know, show, uh, and this is a 1080p uh, video, a uh, demo video of the red, uh, the red camera. Let me ask you something, actually. In, in yeah. a demo before I saw, when you um, switch out of the video uh, application to another application, the video still plays. Yeah. Now, does it just keep continually playing in the background? Or is it just more of like the last three seconds or something just so you see it playing? No, yeah, it's actually still playing live as, as if it was was uh, maximized. Got it. Um, now, you'll be able to, you know, configure that or you know if you don't want the video playing you you know potentially don't want the video playing while you're in the background because you're right. not paying attention to it right um, but you know there there is you know potentially use cases where you're um, you know watching the video and then you want to just go check you know email real quick or, sure. or go do something and so you'll you'll have those options okay um, so you do have to be conscious of it though if yeah. it is playing or or no yeah I mean you'll be able to kind of you know configure that so that you you know you can either have it stop you okay. know, while it's in the background, or, or potentially continue playing. Cool. So, um, and same thing know, for we'll, music, obviously. Like we just said, you just exactly. back and forth. Yeah, you know, we want to have the ability for you know third-party you know video and music players to um, continue to play in the background, specifically Very audio, cool. right? You know, you have something, you know, if uh, Pandora is to build an app, you know, you want, you want to make sure that that music is always running in the in the background um, as you as you kind of navigate through the app. One of the other things that you can also do uh, to switch apps is you can swipe on the uh, left and right bezel. Um, so if I swipe on the left guy here, or maybe it's the right guy, depending on where my apps are. So it kind of goes into this minimize mode, hmm. and you can either click on That's it. It's almost like a full page kind of yeah. thumb view. And so if I swipe, uh, yeah, let's get this right. Usually, there we go. So then I can see, I can get to this app and click on it and it becomes active. Very cool. Um, so it's similar to this, but you don't have to come back to the, and minimize the apps, you can do it. And there's no physical buttons, right? On the device, there's like a home button or a menu button. Yeah, no, I mean, there's two up at the top here. There's a power button and volume, uh, like up down, as well as a, a toggle button for kind of play pause. Cool. Um, and, and the bezels uh, are touch, touch sensitive? Yeah, exactly. Are all four or, all th or three? Or? All four are. Okay. Um, so you also notice the, there will be some other things. Um, let's just get out of here for a second. There, are there also uh, will be some other things for like in-app. So um, uh, if we maybe load up the camera real quick. Um, we can 
switch this to front facing so we can see ourselves. We can <laughs> just see the camera real quick. Um, you can also swipe down from the top and you'll get Very cool. menu uh, items up here so you can change you know aspect cool. ratio, go to the camera roll, launch different scene modes, that sort of thing. You can touch up and it goes away and then and, and that's all in the API for developers so they can sort of take advantage of that as well in their apps or e no? Exactly. Okay. Um, so the uh, listening for the top swipe um, is all in the SDK cool. uh, and you'll be able to do that. So that's the top swipe is uh, for applications um, and then everything else is more system wide okay. where um, you're, you're navigating and, and using gestures on the device. Cool. And there's yeah. no internet, unfortunately, here, right? So we can't do the browser or, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have any, uh, a good internet connection here. So. What else can we do? Um, so yeah, so I mean, I think that's um, that's you know th those are the How about three the, main. The apps. keyboard, can we see just typing on it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think if you just swipe up, so there's the keyboard there. Um, we don't have anything to actually type into right now. Um, but, is, is there a universal search or anything like that? Uh, that is something that we're we're actively working on and, and cool. trying to trying to get resolved and sorted out. Yeah. Um, keyboard is multi-touch. Could you do two, uh, I guess, entry points at once? Yeah, or? exactly. So if you if you are like you hit the you shift know. and like nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. So it's not single pointer. It's it's all multi-touch. You can type with both hands. Very cool. As, as it were. Uh, portrait and landscape keyboard or no? Um, yeah, the little, little keyboard will work uh, in both orientations. Okay. How about pin? Is it a specific pin to this device? Or does it use the paired BlackBerry pin? How do you do BlackBerry Messenger? Would you have to add a second pin if you already have a BlackBerry? I think that's one question. Yeah, so I mean, I think what, uh, so as far as pairing with your device, um, you'll be able to pair with your uh, current BlackBerry um, and access. Uh, you know, contacts and email and things and all the data on uh, on your device, uh, uh, on your BlackBerry device, on, on the playbook. Got it. Okay. Um, I'm guessing the flag at the top, that's just notifications? Will exactly. that show like groups, stuff, just... Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, as you'll see, you'll, you'll see apps, different apps will appear. So if you have, you know, um, this one will be your kind of all notifications, your total notifications, and then you'll have different groups that show up along the top here. Um, you know, whether it be email or, or app specific okay. um, uh, groups that will appear and then you'll be able to click on them and, and uh, uh, respond to those notifications. Really cool. Could you just flip through the, uh, the tabs at the top real quick? Yeah. So. One more time, that'd be great. So, we've got all here. Swipe. Internet. Media. Utilities. And so hopefully, um, you know, as the SDK is out and we've got uh, now, uh, we've got some third-party apps on here uh, currently, uh, and now that the app world is accepting playbook applications, I'm hoping that people download the SDK and get their, their apps up there so that uh, we start start playing. And then something that was really important is, uh, is this BlackBerry uh, playbook offer. So anyone that makes an application and gets accepted into BlackBerry app world, will get a free BlackBerry playbook. Yeah, so exactly. So if you download the SDK now, which is publicly available on blackberry.com, uh, you can uh, use Air, uh, the Air SDK to develop an application, submit it up to AppWorld, uh, which opened uh, yesterday, uh, to accept uh, playbook applications. Um, if your app is accepted, uh, you will get a free uh, playbook when they are available. Very cool. um, and so, you know, we're really excited to be here in New York today, uh, showing off the device and showing off the playbook and talking about the things we were doing. Um, we're really excited to be, you know, involved in the Adobe community. Um, you know, this is kind of our first experience uh, with the Adobe community, um, you know, uh, from a BlackBerry and a RIM uh, perspective. Uh, and the reception uh, that we've received has been uh, really great, and we're uh, really excited to be uh, working with you guys.